Hello, my name's Shane, welcome to Hugger Bubba. Today I'm going to show you how to put up a travel cart. Now, some people find this difficult, but it's like everything, there's a little bit of a knack and I'll show you what it is. First of all, what you need to do is take the travel cot out of its bag and the box and take the mattress from around it. And then what you do is you just stand it up just as you see here. Now, from this point on, you've got to be a little bit careful, but I will show you what to do. So, just got to start by opening up the travel cot, and that's simply by just expanding it a little bit. Now, the knack to getting this just right is that the sides must be straight and locked into position first of all. So what you do is underneath each of these side panels there's a little joint and if you grab the button underneath you can lock the arm into place. So you've got to do that for all four sides. It is a little bit tricky so if you don't get it first time, don't worry at all, persevere. So that's it. So like I say, there's just a button underneath and you can just grip hold of it, pull this up and then you should feel that lock into place. So as long as you can grip that button underneath and raise the arm up, you should be fine. Once you've got all four sides locked into position, only then can the base go down. So what we'll do is just hold onto the side. We need to open this up just a little bit more. Voila, the travel cot is all in place. Remember to do the sides first, then push the base down into position. It's all ready to use. Welcome back. Now I'm going to show you how the mattress board fits in. Here it is. Now very simply, we just open this out, lay this into the bottom, and underneath the mattress you'll see on either side there's two eyelet holes which the velcro straps pop through and we'll show you those next. Welcome back. Now we've got the mattress board in position. Underneath the cot the mattress board fixes just onto the velcro. Now there's one at the top here, one at the bottom and it's exactly the same on the other side. So that will hold the mattress board into position and just with the cot itself This is now completely ready to use. Welcome back. I'm now going to show you how you can add an extra layer of comfort to the travel cot by using a folding travel cot mattress. Now the folding travel cot mattress comes in a little bag and what I'll do is I'll open the zip and take this out. Now this cover is really good storage helps keep the mattress clean and fresh. So we do we just take the cover off there. Now all we have to do to the mattress is just turn that round and just start closing the zip as you can see here all the way down and that fits in the bottom of the cot. Welcome to Hugger Bubba. I'm now going to show you the waterproof mattress protector that goes on the folding travel cot mattress. Now, here's the folding travel cot mattress, and all we do is we bring that out, lay that on top, and here's the mattress protector. Now, these can be a little bit fiddly, but all you need to do just get the corners over. Now, that's on. Right, there we go. Now all you have to do is just pull that a little bit tighter and tidy that up. As I said at the start, these things are a little bit fiddly. But once you've got that on, all you need to do is just pop that back into the bottom of the travel cot and you've got a waterproof mattress protector which keeps the mattress clean and dry.